We learn GPB by using supported breaths, either from the ventilator with the mouthpiece, or I can okay. support the breath with the bag. Okay. You're using your throat muscles okay. to move small boluses of air beyond your pharynx yes. and pushed into the lungs, mm -hmm. right? Okay. I normally use the word gut to teach glossopharyngeal breathing. And the reason for that is the G places the ball of the tongue in the proper position to trap air, and as you close the lips, to push the air down ah, into the okay. lungs. Okay. Okay. You can say the word gup initially with a loud voice, and then you can move to a minimal voice, and then almost to a non-existent voice. Okay. Okay. The reason I ask for a louder voice, or at least minimal voice at the beginning, is it sensitizes you to the the positioning of the tongue. So you get the feeling yeah. of it, yeah, okay. Individuals sometimes will do glossopharyngeal breathing. People around them won't even notice that they're performing. Oh, really? okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll say the word gup. In fact, I think it's best right now that I do glossopharyngeal breathing in front of you so you can visualize the movement of my throat okay. muscles. Okay. And I will exaggerate. I take my maximum breath because if I don't do this, I may cheat with my diaphragm, okay? Go, 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 I feel a chest stretch okay. into my chest. I almost feel like my trachea is gonna explode, okay. but I'm forcing down and pushing the air down. I'm gonna repeat glossopharyngeal breathing this time without being, without exaggerating. Okay. okay. <sighs> I'm a little dizzy. Yes, I can imagine. Because I've gone beyond what my, ma my muscles can actually do. Okay. It's difficult to do glossopharyngeal breathing with a ventilator giving you a, a breath through the passing year at the moment. So we'll take a little break, and when Aaron comes back, we will discontinue the ventilator, okay. set the mouthpiece at, at bedside, or at your chair side, okay. and you'll be in control when you feel you need that supportive breath okay. and how much. Alrighty. Okay, remove the mouthpiece. Say the gu word gup once. Gup. 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 Yeah. Up. Mouthpiece again. I will put my finger here, yeah. and this muscle, okay, this part of the trachea that I'm touching, the further this descends, the larger the, bo uh, the bolus, the air that you're going to trap. Yeah. And the larger that bolus is, the less gut, sequential gut, okay. that you will be required to, to do in order to obtain either just a normal breath or a maximum insufflation capacity volume. Okay. Okay. Take a satisfying breath, remove yeah. the mouthpiece, and go. 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 Mouth. I'm not doing it right. That's okay. It's very difficult to do glossopharyngeal breathing with a, a trachea. Okay. Must keep in mind, it's a tight to shaft, but you still have to push the volume beyond the tracheostomy, okay? So it's much easier once the tracheostomy is up. It's not impossible, okay? It is doable. Okay, yeah. Okay, so take a breath. Good, okay. Go. Go, 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 go. Uh, go. Uh, go. Uh, go. Okay. In the beginning, individuals' gulp size is very small, okay. and it's better to concentrate on the proper technique right. of the throat movement than trying to say too many. Okay. Okay. Gop. 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 Go, 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 go. It is possible as you're doing 
a glossopharyngeal breathing at this moment, that air is escaping through the upper airway passages. Okay. So I will apply nose okay. clips. Okay, three gaps. Go. 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 Put it in the mouth. I feel like I was getting air that time. I think you're getting a little bit. You shouldn't need nose clips once you know how to perform glossopharyngeal breathing properly. Okay. 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 Are you dizzy? No, yeah, but I will be. Okay. <laughs> Let it go. Okay. Exhale. Go. 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 Blow out. Then I saw a little bit of wiggle, but not too much. So glossopharyngeal breathing can be used to sustain normal yeah. breath or to achieve maximum insufflation capacity. So homework, yeah. recap, yeah. with loud VR, with and, with and without nose clip. And when you're with the mouthpiece like this, if someone's around to put the nose clip on, maybe yeah. once or twice a day, have somebody apply the nose clips and try to do glossopharyngeal okay. breathing in between. Good. So great, I'll leave notes. Okay. Staff, that of our new settings for mouthpiece ventilation, you're comfortable with that now again? Yeah, that works for okay. me, yeah. And that we'll be doing um, breast stacking with and without the nose clips. Okay. okay. It's good that you remind them too um, that you want to try some with and without. But I'll definitely write that in your in your book in our RT little book that these are the new things that we're going to be trying. Okay. That works for me. Yeah, that's good. I okay. can do that. Visit our website at www.canventottawa.ca for additional comprehensive information.